Hopefully they had access to someone or something that allowed them to get paid by the government to do nothing. Is that not a reasonable inference? Mr. Mr. Doan, do you have a comment on this? Those are allegations. Those are allegations that have only come to light, to my knowledge, recently. But, but it just, it just doesn't make sense, on. right? It, it, would you agree that it just doesn't make sense? What doesn't make sense? My apologies. Well, the, the fact that two people were paid over $11 million to do no work and subcontract. The CBSA worked very closely with PSPC and all the rules governed by PSPC on all of these engagements. Yeah, but this, this is sort of process mumbo jumbo. Like, like I, I think people would want to know they got paid to do nothing. Why, why, were, they, why were they hired? I believe. Who, who made the decision? Let me just ask that. Who, who, who made the decision? I believe, as my colleague at CBSA has said, that this is currently under investigation. So you don't know who made the decision? Not to my knowledge. Oh, okay, so, so none of you know who made the decision to hire these two guys, as, according to your testimony? I can say, with, based on memory, that my team made the decision. Well, who? Who? Who, who made the final decision? Who sent the email? At this time, to my knowledge, I do not know, and it's part of the investigation that's currently underway. Okay, so, so two guys got over $11 million from the government of Canada to do no work, and none of you know who made the decision to give them that contract, but you're currently investigating. Um, I'm, I'm glad the RCMP and not just you are investigating.